My name is Thomas Shadowlane, and this is my project in the California Ranchos for Miss Moore's fourth grade class. The California Ranchos were primarily used for raising cattle, sheep, and horses. Ranchos ranged from 10,000 acres to 300,000 acres. The Rancho period spanned for almost 100 years. During this time, over 500 private land grants were given by the Spanish and Mexican governments. This is my version of a rancho, named Rancho de Thomas. From 1784 to 1821, the Spanish government gave the first land grants to retired soldiers so they would stay on the frontier. These land grants were called ranchos, which is a Spanish word for ranch. Later, between 1833 and 1846, the Mexican government encouraged settlement by offering larger land grants. Most of these ranchos were along the California coast and had a large river, like the Sacramento River or Los Angeles River, run through the property. The rancho boundaries were used as a foundation for the California land surveys that are still found on modern-day maps and land titles. Over here is where the main house is located. This house is modeled after Rancho Los Cerritos during the Temple period. Most of the houses were made from adobe bricks or wood and then covered with adobe plaster. The Temple period, named after Juan Temple, lasted from 1844 to 1866. The house was built during the golden days of the Rancho period, which were considered 1833 to 1846. During these years, the rancho owners modeled themselves off the Spanish gentry. The Golden Days are known for their fiestas, great wealth, and leisure time. The main house is where the landowners and their families lived. Inside, you might find a large sitting area, fireplace, and a dining table large enough for the family and guests. This area would be large enough to be used for fiestas and dancing. Upstairs is where the bedrooms would be. The rooms were simply furnished with a bed, a dresser, and a place to store items. The landowners would often have large families with 10 plus children. They were known for their hospitality and would have frequent guests. Rancho de Thomas imitates Rancho Los Cerritos in that both are built in a U-shaped design with a pond and garden centered in the middle. The main houses were usually built on the highest plot of land so the owners could look out over the pastures. Out here is where the cattle or sheep pastured. The river was used to irrigate the crops and provided water for the animals. <laughs> worked and lived on the rancho. Workers on the farm were mainly Native Americans. Employees of the rancho included field hands, vaqueros, cooks, blacksmiths, cobblers, carpenters, weavers, tanners, jewelers, washerwomen, gardeners, winemakers, seamstress, and servants. The employee homes were very simple. Ranchos might have a chapel where people would gather for Sunday service. 
Those that did not have a chapel were traveling to town for Sunday worship. Children that lived in the rancho received very little education. Both boys and girls were taught horsemanship. Girls were taught embroidering and dancing. Many people on the rancho could not read or write. Over here is where they might keep other livestock like pigs and chicken to help feed the many people that lived on the rancho. This building is where they would bring in the cattle for sorting. Ranchos sold the hides and tallow from cattle. It was not until the 1840s in the gold rush that there became a great need for beef. This was also the time of the Mexican-American War and the Bear Flag Revolt, which led to California becoming part of the United States. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo marked the end of the Mexican-American War. This treaty also made sure that the Mexican land grants would still be honored by the United States government. Here is where the cows were slaughtered and their hides were hung to dry. Here is an example of a carpenter shop. This is where they would mill the wood that would be used to build new structures or make repairs. This is an example of what a blacksmith shop would look like. Here they would make tools and horseshoes for the horses. All ranchos would have stables where they housed the horses used for herding cattle. Ranchos would have an outdoor oven. Everyone would eat breakfast together, starting with hot chocolate or coffee. The food would consist of chorizo or carne asada, friojas, eggs, and tortillas. Lunch would also be provided, which might consist of a hearty stew called pasole. Lunch would be served at noon and was followed by a siesta, which lasted till around 3 p.m. During this time, people would nap or spend time with the family. Afterwards, they would go back to work until dark. After work, they would gather again for dinner, which was similar to lunch. Overall, the ranchos had a huge impact on how California used its land. Many cities still use the rancho boundaries in Spanish names. Thank you for watching my video on the California ranchos and my tour of Rancho de Thomas.